Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Dragon Quarter. Unbeknownst to Ryu and Nina, they're about to get jumped on. Oh, she's fast. So this is the same person who tried to rob the cargo. Trinity. So Ryu finally meets face to face. She seems to know who Nina is or what Nina is. And she even says right here that this girl is the only hope that they have to save their rotten world. And yes, it is rotten. It's underground. And Ryu just doesn't give a damn. I mean, he's not going to work with criminals. He doesn't negotiate with criminals. He's a cop, basically. Admire before Ranger. Too bad you don't realize that there's more to this world than what you can see with your eyes. Listen, there are some things you'd be happier not knowing. Forget you met me and forget that you met a girl with wings. The jokes on you, those aren't wings. They're air filters. Jokes on you again. Nina goes to no one but Ryu. Translation. Damn it! After brief convincing, it's a no-go. So at this point, Lynn realizes that they have to work together. There's no way around it. Nina trusts Ryu, so she has no choice but to trust Ryu. And they have to work together to keep her safe. Ryu doesn't trust Trinity, and <laughs> I can kind of understand why. I mean, she showed her face. I mean, that's a good start. Finally, we get a name, Lynn. Pretty basic, nice and simple. Okay, I'll let you help me up. We'll work together for now, but you better watch your back. Yeah, let's go. And just like that, we have a Warren on our squad now. Warren? The Warren are half cat and half human species that are introduced in Breath of Fire 2. Since then, they are featured in every adventure going forward. The Warren clan are gifted fighters. They are extremely fast and almost always are the first to get their attack off. They are naturally resistant to magic. It has to be the fur protecting them. It has to be. Not much is known about their people, but their way of living is explored a bit in 4. They have a lot of similarities to the Native American Indians. The Warren live on a small reservation called Warrant. The Warren are tribal people whose chief is Cray, the personal bodyguard of Nina. Unfortunately, they are on the verge of extinction and it's not really explained why. They are a simple bunch of people who live pretty carefree. Just don't step on their tail. Every iteration of the characters look vastly different from one another. Lynn looks more human than the others do. Lynn doesn't maintain the status quo. She isn't a super fast fighter and she isn't resistant to magic like the other Warrens. Most shockingly, she uses a gun in battle. That's like Sitting Bull running around with an AK-47. From what I understand, Lynn was going to be a gypsy woman with a gun. Last minute, Lynn was changed into a Warren. There's a lot of rumors going around that said Capcom cut the budget and they put some ridiculous time restraints. I mean, it does kind of show later on in the game. Lynn is the woke one of the group. She opposes the government and she knows what Nina is. Can she be trusted? Only time will tell. In addition to Lynn, we can now carry more items, which is about time. From here on out, this is where the story gets a little bit darker and more interesting. As you can see here, Bosch is trying to explain to us, Captain, what happened to the cargo and what happened to Ryu. Uh, cargo? I barely made it out alive. The Captain doesn't give a damn about his life or Ryu's. All she cares about is the cargo. And she even says that he shouldn't even came back there without the cargo. As you can see, he's pretty convinced that nothing could have survived that, that fall. Bosh makes a pretty good point here. I mean, are those wings in her back? Captain mentions the brass. She also says find a cargo and eliminate it no matter what it looks like. Which is just cold because I think the captain knows it's a little girl. 
It's ridiculous. Pure evil. She wouldn't be saying this if it looked like Chris Hemsworth. She talks about Nina like she's a used diaper or something. Just gross. We are a party of three now. Should be a lot easier going forward. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Lynn. Lynn has the gun. The good thing about Lynn is she can stun enemies from a distance. If she charges her shot, it stuns them for even longer so you can get a jump on the enemy, which I'm gonna do right here. And then boom, we got the jump on them. We finally get a goo that I've been talking about the whole playthrough. The goos are really strong. You'll see that in a moment. I just don't understand the misses. Were you, I don't understand. What stat do I need for him to stop missing? So I'm gonna do what I usually do. I'm just gonna barricade myself. Cause if that blob gets close to me, it's gonna hurt. When I say me, I mean Nina. Now look at this, the damage is pitiful. Get ready for your ears to bleed. I don't know what she's saying, but her attacks are the most annoying in the game. I do like she has that attack right there where you can push enemies back. Mmm, pancakes. Flattened us. There's no way out now. We're in a ring of fire, buddy. This is a pretty good fight. Now, I don't think I've expressed my hate for these question mark items that you get in the game. I don't understand why they need to have an appraisal system. Like, it's kind of weird to me. Like, why not just have an item? Having random items is cool and everything, but having items you can't see until you go back to a store is kind of stupid. So this thing right here is really tough. It has a lot of HP and physical attacks do no damage, as you can see. It's kind of a weird fight because they make you fight this guy knowing you need to beat it with magic and our magic user can't even really like directly attack it. So my strategy will be for this fight is to try to make this thing walk into the fire. I wish I knew the name of it. I'm gonna call him a mimic because that's what he looks like. He looks like a mimic. These fights are always long and these things always, they just I call it a thing again. How many times have I said thing? They, they're really smart. If you back away from them, they will attack you with jolt magic. And that's the only reason why I'm fighting this thing. There you go, there's jolt right there. I'm fighting this because he drops jolt. And Nina desperately needs jolt because jolt is the first magic she'll be able to directly do damage to the enemy with. And we got him to run into the, the trap there. So we got another one here. I'm just gonna wait and try to, boom, set the trap. So we did the same exact thing we did in that first fight. I just set the traps and waited for him to walk into it because I forgot to equip Jolt. Now we're in the old way shaft fourth floor. We're getting closer to the top and this room is crawling with spiders. What I'm going to do is take advantage of the D dash. They're not going to be able to engage. And I'm going to try to knock them back far enough where I can swing my sword and get the jump on him. That didn't work. I'd like to take the opportunity to ask you guys, if you guys prefer me to just go ahead and fight fight these battles out and you wanna watch the whole fight, or do you prefer the way that I'm doing it now and just only show you the important fights? Let me know in the comments because I don't want these videos to be boring. I want them to be the way you want to watch them. Me personally, I don't mind watching people do the battles, do the combos and things like that. But I know time is precious. So just let me know in the comments. Down to the last spider, got a trap behind me just in case he tries to escape. Now it's just a matter of me welling on him until he's done. Nice finish, Nina. 
So there's like four more spiders in this room that I got to figure out how I'm going to trap them. I don't have any more fresh meat. So I think I'm going to use the D dash again and hopefully this time I can pull it off and didn't work that time either. But that's OK. We made quick work of the spiders and now we're done with this area. Let's rest a little. It's nice and convenient they had bunk beds there. I don't know why it's overrun with rent. Oh, so Ranger, aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what she is? I mean, I would like to know. Looks like a regular little girl, sort of. Would you even tell me if I asked criminal? I don't know why he's so disrespectful. Come on, spit it out. Truth is. I don't even know. I wasn't told. That's a lie. Ranger. A goddamn lie. She's lying. She knows something. This world you're trying to protect. I don't think it's worth it. Lynn, let me tell you something. It's always worth it. The world is what you make it. Well, at least that's what I was taught. But that's not true. <laughs> this world would be much different if I can make it. <laughs> But I, I know what they mean. I know what that saying is. But we continue our journey. I hate this part right here. This place is swarming with like these giant cockroaches. They got like red glowing eyes. Look, there they go right there. And they come right after you. Get back. There's a room that's got like 20 of them in there. And then they be hiding behind boxes and stuff. You just got to watch your step. I mean, they're not tough any or anything, but they run. They like to run a lot. I notice a lot of the monsters in this game like to run. I just don't get it. So that's a door we can come back to if we ever get our D ratio to get any better than what we have now, which is kind of like impossible. All right, we killed that guy. There's another, oh, ambush. We took care of those guys. There's a couple of spiders on the ceiling here. I'm only gonna like kill one of them. I just don't feel like fighting these guys. Okay, that was real smart. I just wasted a dynamite. Uh, you stay up there, buddy. I'm gonna go now. I thought about it for a second, but yeah, it's not worth it. This room coming up is one of those random rooms that could have either the roaches or they can have the ants. And I got lucky, there's nothing in here at all. But there's spiders waiting on me. And I set the trap and just totally messed it up. So this place down here is a goddamn mess. It's, it's a maze. It's like so confusing. You're going to see a lot of stop and go. I'm trying to pay attention to the little map at the lower right, but sometimes I do have to stop and pause it to look at the bigger map. And I get turned around quite a bit down here. Like I'm totally going the wrong way now. And I'm not sure when I'll figure it out. Maybe I should have cut this part out. Oh, no, wait, I, I am going the right way. Oh, goodness gracious. When you see some dead hog meat around, that usually means trouble. So we got to keep our eyes open. If anybody knows how to get in that gate, somebody let me know in the comments. As long as I played this game, I've never been in that room down there. It has a treasure chest, too. Maybe we'll go down there later. Old way shaft, fifth floor. I think once we get to the sixth floor, we'll be done. And these are my favorite. You can kill them in one hit and they drop heal kits. But I already have nine heal kits. Oh goodness, that thing right there is like a mini boss. I'm gonna avoid him for now. He's kind of fast. Be careful. Now again, down here, complete maze, bunch of soul doors. Doors we can only get into if we have a certain ratio. And I don't know, I guess that's the nature of this game. Every room kind of looks the same. 
here we are fighting a giant gummy worm that we can't see until we start attacking. And we're doing a hell of a lot of damage to him. I wish I could see those numbers against the other enemies. Again, Nina with the finish. This room is... I don't know. I don't know what, what's that room about. <laughs> I think I ended up back. Yep, I sure did. Ended up back in the room with him. But D-dash for the win. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't even care. <laughs> At that point, I didn't even care about that armor. So we got everything of importance. Now it's time to take this guy on. I don't know what his name is either. A couple of dynamites weaken him and set the trap. And hopefully I can time this right. Got him. Boom, baby! Here, pick that. Pick that. Ah, we're doing pretty good damage. I need a new sword, that's for sure. But this guy, he's got some pretty good defense. Let's go, Nina. Barbecue time. Yeah, the jotes are... I I'm not impressed. I I'm not... <laughs> I'm trying to like Nina. Okay, this guy should be dead. He has no health. So take that shot in your eye. Okay, I'm on the other side of that gate. There's a body laying there too. Looks like the guy I just beat. And we're heading up. It should be, yep, it's Old Waste Shaft, sixth floor. This should be the last floor, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a long time. Oh yes, like I said in the other video, this is a good place to get some zenny. Ooh, and XP. Very nice. Oh, heck no. I wasn't ready for that. Like, that was random. But I don't feel like fighting him, so I just pushed him out of the way and got through the door. Because, like, I really don't. Nina's magic is just not up to par. Not yet. Okay, so we don't have the key for this floor yet. And we're coming up on a mini boss. This is the most annoying part down here. It's gonna be a room full of cockroaches. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's a spoiler. See that body laying there? Look at that. It's disgusting. So I'm just gonna skip this. All they did was run the whole time. That's all they ever do is run. This video would have been 90 minutes long if you would have saw those fights. But we, we got the key, thank goodness. <sighs> so that move is pretty important. What that does is make Lin, if Lin lands the there, which is hard to hit, it will stun the enemy in place for about, I don't know, two seconds. So this room right here is full of ants. I'm gonna avoid them. I'm just gonna collect all the boxes that's down here get all the items that I can fit in my inventory. I can't even fit the. Okay, I was about to say, I can't even pick up the fresh meat. But yeah, there's some pretty decent goodies down here. Okay, there was one ant. I couldn't avoid him. He was blocking the door, so I killed him. I mean, I don't like killing ants if I don't have to. But let's just go ahead and skip this part down here because there's like four ants in this room. This room used to scare me because you got these, I'm gonna call them Cyclops. Sometimes they can randomly wake up and come after you. That's why I keep looking at them. But yep, they showed mercy. And this is it, the final hallway. If you guys haven't seen the other videos in the series, I encourage you to check them out. I think they're pretty good. But until next time, guys, peace.